hi guys welcome to pc tips row in this video today i'm going to show you how you can install wordpress setup in your godaddy cpanel hosting let's say you have a domain name uh, with godaddy and you want to and you have the cpanel hosting with godaddy and you want to install the wordpress in your cpanel of your Go, from the godaddy then you can watch this video completely and you will be able to learn so let's get started here first make sure you need to log in into your godaddy account so you can see i'm opening up the godaddy here and you can see my account here on the top that's uh, aditya coming up here now i will click on this my products and uh, after opening the my product page scroll down and uh, click on this web hosting and then click on this manage you can see i have deluxe linux hosting plan with godaddy so in order to install the wordpress setup in your godaddy domain with in the cpanel make sure first of all you have a, a domain already registered with the godaddy and you have added that domain into your cpanel hosting so you can see i already have done that process and how you will do that means how you will add your domain to the godaddy hosting i have published another video on my youtube channel so you can go on my or uh, you can go on the youtube channel page of pc tips row and you can find that video that how to add a domain in your godaddy hosting so you can see uh, this is a file manager i am opening make sure when you uh, click on this manage option of the hosting then you will see this file manager option so you need to click on that and the file manager will uh, open all the folders where your domain uh, will be added and it will show the uh, respect i mean all the folders of the domain you have already added to your hosting so you can see let's go back this is the file manager of uh, from the godaddy now you can see there is an option coming up public underscore html so click on this and uh, now i'm going to find my domain where i need to install this uh, wordpress setup so you can see this is my profile value this is the domain where i want to install uh, the wordpress setup so i will click on double click on this now i'm just opening up the file manager to show you that you can see that there is nothing installed here there is an, i mean there is no any file coming up and let's say if you go back to uh, the page uh, the internet browser and you open this uh, domain which is my profile value dot com then you will see here nothing is coming up so the file manager i am opening just to show you that uh, there is nothing available it's blank now i will proceed further to install this you can see uh, when you click on the c panel admin then it will open the c panel interface where you can go ahead and make changes to your uh, a domain or whatever you want now here you can see when you when the c panel will open you can see there is a wordpress option coming up click on this wordpress and now you can see it's coming up here installation so i already have installed wordpress on one of my domain that's why it's coming up here that uh, my application but here i want to install on any other domain also so what i will do here i will go ahead and uh, click on this install this application you can see so it's working now now it will ask for the domain where you want to install so i already show you the domain where i want it to install so here i want to install on my profile value.com so you can see this now this is a directory which is optional if you want you can keep the directory name that will come up otherwise you can this is optional so you can remove it's totally fine that means it will be directly installed in the my profile value root uh, in the root folder itself now here you can see this is the version it's automatically by default taking the latest version so leave it as it is now uh, now you can see the next uh, part is coming up 
uh, the selecting the language so you can select the language according to your comfortness so I'm leaving this uh, English as it is because that's the language I will be using to develop my website now you can see here there are few options coming up so these options should be as it is so don't uh, do any changes with these options now you can see here the next part is coming up in the settings that administrative administrator username and the password so in the administrator username and the password make sure you should copy and uh, keep this password always with you because next time when you will directly log in into the wordpress account then you can use this username and the password and you can directly go ahead and start making changes uh, to your website so he, here this is the website title which i will type in here that uh, i'm just giving the title of the website which is my profile value that's it to show you that how you can make the changes now here you can see now the tagline the tagline will uh, you know give the brief idea what your website is about so you can type anything whatever you want uh, which describe your website uh, in the proper way and after you know uh, filling up all the details just simply click on this install option and uh, you can see it's processing here down below that means it has started installing the wordpress in that domain which is myprofilevalue.com so i show you initially that when i open this uh, when i open the my profile value domain then it was coming up forward and that means there was nothing coming up but after installation you will definitely see something there so the same you can see uh, the username and the password from the godad i'm mean, sorry from the auto generated by the uh, wordpress is coming up here so i don't want to save now you can see my profile value is installing here that 37 40 percent is installed and it's moving forward i just show you last time also as i explained you that uh, i already have installed this uh, word wordpress in one of my domain and this is my domain that's why it's coming up in the list here and this is the second domain which is myprofilevalue.com uh, i am installing in to show you the live example so it's about to complete because you can see it's almost to reach 100 percent now after installation you will have a wordpress dashboard from where you can go ahead and make the changes to your websites uh, you can add the content you can remove the content you can do whatever you want to do with in your wordpress dashboard i have uh, published another video where you can see how you can customize your website in the wordpress now you can see it's the installation is completed so this is three uh, we have got the three different uh, url here first is the domain which is my profile value which will show you how your website look like the second is myprofilevalue.com wp dash admin that means it's wordpress admin that's your dashboard uh, from where you can make the changes so let me click on all the links uh, one by one so if i'm clicking on the top you can see now the my, my website is coming up if you remember uh, this is the website name the title i given and this is the uh, tagline it's coming up here and this is by default uh, blog coming up here now the second when you click on the second link link that will open the dashboard of your wordpress from where you can make the changes to your website now you can see here this is the dashboard and uh, once you click on this exit to the wordpress dashboard and click on this yes okay there is a bluetooth device connection is coming up i don't know from where then it will open your wordpress dashboard from where you can directly make the changes to your website now as you can see this is the wordpress dashboard you can see you can add the post you can add media to your website this is the pages you can add to your website this is the comment section where you can read the comment from your website visitors and you can reply them this is the appearances from where you can make the changes to your theme you can customize your theme you can add any visit menu background theme editor this is the plugin section from where you can install any plugin 
and this is the user uh, uh, I mean the option where you can add user you can uh, see your profile you can make the changes to your profile and all so that's all guys this is the way how you can install your the WordPress setup in your GoDaddy cPanel hosting on a particular domain so I have I think I have cleared everything in this video but if you still have any query you can write in the comment section and I will, I will be there to answer thank you